It's an honor to have. Well, don't we all like shooting? <laughs> it's an honor to have with us the Martin Tuason. Well, we're here. What's, what does it look like for Rock Island Arms Corps for 2024? Well, unfortunately, we were supposed to have a 5.0 here on display and uh, out of the Utah facility. Um, but we do, did some changes for the SDK. Um, you know, there were a lot of online reviews for the SDK. Some people loved them, some people didn't. There were a lot of comments about the grip, uh, about the safety, um, the magwell, um, the... Uh, the uh, sight plate to be a little more universal. Um, so the SDK version 2, I don't know what they're calling it, I just call it the version 2, uh, addresses all the complaints. So we compiled all the complaints, we took a look what were really, I thought, were justifiable, uh, you know, legitimate complaints. Uh, I didn't have a problem with the grip, but you know, other people did, and I got additional comments, you know, from good shooters saying, hey, you know, we changed the grip a little bit and stuff like that. It would work a little bit better. I think um, it would just be more comfortable in the hand. Um, and, you know, especially if you're sweating in a humid, humid environment. I never had that problem. I don't know. But, you know what? I listen. We adjust. We make the product better. That's why there's a version 2, right? Apple comes out with a new iPhone every year, right? So exactly. Why can't I do the same? So where is it going to be made? Will it be in Marikina or well, the SDKs are SDKs are all made here in the Philippines, probably Filipino made. Um, the, the 5.0 was a U.S. project um, from the very beginning. That's why we're doing it there. But we do a lot of all the uh, what they call unimportable firearms in Utah. You know the shorty uh, 12 gauge uh, firearms and uh, you know uh, all the stuff you can't import. But we have other things coming for Utah too. Um, it's uh, it's a plant where basically anything you can't bring into the United States, we're going to build over there. Having said that, one gun that you could build here in the Philippines easily, we decided to do over there. Um, it's not going to be cheap. We're only going to make two or three hundred every month. It's the 5.0. I don't know if you've heard of that. You've seen it on the gun covers and the TV shows all the bloggers and stuff like that. The version, the, the 5.0 Enhanced was supposed to be launched at this show, um, even before SHOT Show. Um, but uh, we were, we didn't get our meeting uh, with the classification board in time, so they didn't release the guns. Saya. Saya. Well, my sister flew all the way from the U.S. just to be here for the launch, and uh, it didn't happen. But uh, we do have samples here. Uh, at the FEO right now, at the bodega. <laughs> it's unfortunate, you know, with gun ban and everything, man. Everything's gulo, and we opened even the day before the gun ban ended at, uh, with the show. It is what it is. So um, we did our best to get it over here. Um, know that 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 product is just absolutely incredible. It will be available in the Philippines. It's not a U.S. only product, um, and uh, there's a fair allocation coming based on our production numbers here to the Philippines. That's great. That's great. Yeah, you'll be able to get it. We'll have we'll have one I'm sure for T and E over here for you guys. Uh, I I wouldn't see why my sister wouldn't do that. Uh, uh, it's it's a really nice gun, man. Um, that you can we ship it at about a four pound trigger weight, but you could you could change it up to, to under a pound. And nine mm. Nine mm, super low bore of access. Uh, and uh, it's got two patents inside for the recall system. And uh, it's, just, it's just, you know, I don't know if you, you know, when you shoot on a red dot sight, right? You see a up and down motion on the red dot, right? You can see it. It's, when you shoot this, it's just like this. Because of how the, uh, the, the, the power transfers into your wrists, into your shoulders. That we got it to. Uh, uh, yeah, JJ, Eric, when they were shooting it last January, they were just like, oh my gosh. I said, boy, don't you want to get rid of those Berettas and CZs out of your hands? I said, well, I can't afford your sponsorship. So, um, so I, you know, uh, it's, uh, it's, it, it's a really nice gun to shoot. And it's going to be, a, uh, I think, to be used for competition, to be used for self-defense. We're going to come out with shorter versions, you know, for carry and stuff like that eventually. It's a whole series of guns. Looking forward to it. Thanks a lot. Right. Thanks a lot. Yeah. She texts me all the time with all the links <laughs> and all of that. Enjoy the show, man. All right.